The system behind ShakeAlert and is here to explain exactly how it works. When it comes to earthquakes, scientists are using the laws of physics to help give us humans advance warning of earthquakes. With every earthquake, there's two different kinds of shock waves, primary waves and secondary waves. Now, they travel at different speeds, and that is the key to early warning. The P waves, which can also be called pressure waves, they do no damage, and they travel fast in a straight line in every single direction from the epicenter. The formula for P waves is called Birch's Law. It tells us that P waves travel about 5 to 8 kilometers per second. So going the 234 miles is a crow fi flies from Seattle to Portland would take about eight seconds. Now S waves, they're slower and they're also the ones that do all the damage. They run at right angles to the P waves in an up and down motion, much like a rock dropped in a pond or slapping the skin of a drum. S waves move about 60% slower than P waves. So that same Seattle to Portland distance would take an S wave about 48 seconds. And that's where the technology helps. The signal of a cell phone is basically traveling at the speed of light. That's the fastest thing in the known universe, about 300,000 kilometers per second. So in the nanoseconds, it takes a computer to determine the seismograph is picking up a P wave instead of just a rumbling garbage truck nearby. It can send out an alert at the speed of light. But the closer you are to the epicenter, the less time your warning would be. So so while the warning might be only seconds, it's those seconds that can give people time to seek safety and it could save lives as well. I'm Tim Joyce, Q13 News. All right, Tim, and while the technology is